How's it going, everybody? Dieter Kurtenbach, sports columnist with the San Jose Mercury News and the East Bay Times. That's the Bay Area News Group, bringing you my one big thing off of tonight's 120-94 to Los Angeles Lakers win over the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are now 2-10. and 10. And boy, the reason behind that is defense. This team has a chance to be the worst defensive squad in the history of the NBA. Let's talk about the game for a moment, then let's go back to that statement. The game itself was a laugher. The Lakers just did whatever the hell they wanted on the offensive end. LeBron James playing without Anthony Davis tonight toyed with the Golden State Warriors defense. One pass, two pass, possession over, basket scored, Lakers going to the other end. They're all, they've all been laughers. I, I, we have yet to see a, an actually impressive defensive performance from the Golden State Warriors this year. And frankly, they, they cannot score even close to enough to keep up with a team like the Lakers, who are going to put 120 points on the Warriors every single night, if not 130, if not 140. Because frankly, had the Lakers just tried, they probably could have gone for a buck 30, buck 40 tonight. The Warriors with D'Angelo Russell leading the offense, with Jordan Poole taking a bunch of contested shots. He's a rookie. He doesn't even have that high of a percentage to begin with, much less when you're asking him to score off the dribble. With Eric Paschal just not being the guy that we saw in that game against Portland, the last Warriors win, uh, that seems like a decade ago, but I think it was only a few days ago. He's not going to do that every night, and, and certainly uh, you can't expect him to do that. So the Warriors just don't really stand a chance of winning very many basketball games. There's a very good shot that this team contends for 60, 65, 70 losses this season. I, I just don't see where the relief is going to come in the Western Conference. But again, the issue isn't that they can't score very many points. D'Angelo Russell is a brilliant offensive player, and you will get contributions from Pascal, a guy like Alec Burks, uh, Willie Cauley-Stein can put back some put-back dunks, say that three times fast. Uh, there are some positives to be gleaned on the offensive end. There's some talent to be tapped into on the offensive end. The Warriors can put up a buck 20 on a really, really good night. They can give you a buck 10 every now and again, but it won't matter because they're going to be giving up 120 points every single night for the rest of the season. Again, if not worse, when they play better teams. The Warriors allowed a defensive rating of 119 tonight, which is right on line with 120 points that the Lakers put up. Uh, defensive rating, offensive rating, both of them mean points per 100 possessions. So the Warriors, if you played 100 possessions against them, they would have allowed 119 points tonight. Uh, and they did play 100 possessions. Coming into the game, the Warriors had the worst defensive rating in the NBA. It got worse. And it's historically bad. The worst defensive season in the history of the NBA was the Cleveland Cavaliers last year. They had 116.8 defensive rating. Again, all-time worst in the history of the NBA. The Warriors are well over that number tonight. They came into this game with a 116.8 defensive rating, and then they allowed 120 points to the Los Angeles Lakers in fewer than 100 possessions. So you can do the math. They're over. It's an interesting subplot, perhaps a depressing subplot, for a Warriors season that has already been lost. But again, this team... And it's crazy to think this, considering how much defense was part of their identity for the last five years, that championship identity for the last five years. But this Warriors team, even with Draymond Green on it, might go down as the worst defensive team in the history of the NBA. And tonight, just another example as to why that might be the case. I have two other takeaways from this game, two more big things. But if you want to find out what those are, you're going to have to head to the Bay Area News Group's group of websites. That's the San Jose Mercury News and the East Bay Times. I'll post them in a column. And you know what? If you play nice, I won't put it behind the paywall. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Please do subscribe to the newspapers. They are good. They have a lot more interesting news than my columns. I guarantee that. A lot more useful news than my columns, especially when we're talking about this Golden State Warriors team. That's the San Jose Mercury News and the East Bay Times. Put them in your Google machine. They'll pop right up. I promise. Again, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.